food side I got interested in when I was very young and I did some training in England. When I came back to Australia, there was very little opportunity for women in the food industry at that time, so I went a different field. I went and studied something else. Uh, I gave up work to care for my dad, he had Alzheimer's. After he died, I wanted to go back to work and be self-sufficient, but I didn't want to go back to my previous field. So I decided to go back to what I loved, which was food. So I just dived straight in to start a small business at Canning Vale Sunday Markets. It was meant to be a home-based business. It didn't stay that way for very long. I used to drag my son down to Canning Vale Markets at four o'clock every Sunday morning. He was my first employee. Uh, we took off from there and started doing country fairs, uh, some of the big food shows around Perth, the food and wine shows. I picked up my first small commercial customer, which was uh, just a group of three. Um, from that was my connection to Dome, which came obviously much later. Uh, I hired a kitchen from my council and I used to do my prep work there once that I needed to do other products. And then when the prospect of growing came up, I decided I needed a, a factory. Went to sign the lease and had massive panic attacks. I couldn't sleep nights. I was taking a paper bag with me everywhere I went because I was really frightened of what I was putting my family through. So a friend bought me a gift, something that I was even more frightened of. And that was for me to get thrown out of an aeroplane. And knowing how terrified I am of heights, everyone thought that if I could go out of that plane and not pass out, I could sign a lease on a factory. And if I, to this day, I maintain, if I hadn't have done that, stick your fingers, it wouldn't be here. I would never have gotten this far because I was, I was so close to letting my own fears paralyze me. My family believed in me so, so much. And I thought, well, if you can believe in me, yeah, I can do this. There's a lot of things I like about my business. Probably the first and foremost for me is I get to play with food. That's my first. I love food. I love everything about it. The smells, the textures, the flavours. That's the first. Uh, the people in the industry are truly remarkable. I get the joy of working with the most amazing team. People I'm, I'm so close to. Uh, I have awesome customers who trust me to just be able to come up with the goods and do what I say I'm going to do, um, but also my industry. I love what I'm getting to do within my industry as well. So there's a lot of things I, I have to be very thankful for. We were runners up at, in the Food Industry Association Awards and we actually lost out to Woolworths, which is a pretty remarkable feat for a tiny business. 2011, we went back in it and we took out the Best Food Service Achievement Award. That was a thrill and, and I was so excited to be able to share that. I took everyone from work with me. That was a, a biggie. Dome first came on the picture. I was, my very first customer I was talking about earlier was a little group called Chino to Go. And the guy I was dealing with was, was involved with Chino to Go. And then Dome bought out Chino to Go, but we're still running them as autonomous segments at that time. And Dome came to us to ask us to tender for products for them. I talked to them about giving them different products to give them a point of difference from everybody else rather than going down the path of something average. And now we supply them with uh, three jams and a marmalade, four different relishes plus a seasonal one. I would like to see a lot more businesses in WA support our WA manufacturers. We have some amazing food manufacturers here in WA. We're, we're, we're very blessed with the people we have working in this industry. I would like to see more businesses support that so that our industry can not just grow but thrive.